Well, David Lowe is a terrorism and security expert at Liverpool John Moores University Law School. He joins us now uh, from Liverpool to talk about what effect the offensive will have on Daesh. David, thank you very much for your time. We're hearing that Daesh is now talking about defending rather than taking territory. What impact do you think this is, is likely to have on the group's tactics? Well, in some ways you could argue it's uh, a realisation has dawned upon this group that uh, they're now on the retreat and, and will be, I think, in, in the foreseeable future. Uh, and I think in, in some circles, although it has been a steady uh, move towards Mosul, in, at, at times I think it's been a bit quicker than what uh, the forces who are fighting there thought it would be. But as your reporters quite rightly pointed out, in any of these, certainly once you get close to the urban areas, you're looking at various... Um, devices, you're looking at tactics that are being used to slow down any advances towards their territory. And of course, as you said, this is now the, the language of uh, someone who, who seems to be in a, a maybe a long term, but certainly who's in a, a, a retreat. And do you think there could be more, uh, for want of a better word, diversionary attacks that, like the one we saw in Kirkuk yesterday? I think without doubt, you, you look at this group and we, I mean, look at the, the short history of this group. Uh, they, they have no regard uh, for, for human life, certainly for anyone who opposes their, the, the, this, this group per se. Uh, and, and you look at how they've treated uh, civilian uh, occupants of, of the territory that they've hold, who, who disagrees with them. This is a very evil group uh, and really barbaric. So we, we must expect the, the tactics that have already been described, the suicide bombings, the IEDs on the roadside, uh, you know, and even using human shields, no doubt that will come into play as uh, forces get closer to Mosul. If this operation is successful and Daesh are wiped not just from Mosul but from the, the whole of Iraq, what impact is that likely to have on the group? What form do you see Daesh having in, the, in future months? Well, in future months, I think certainly for even longer than, than, than a few months, uh, while they, they may be losing territory, they will, their, their ideology will still be around. And I've always said this has been a war on three fronts, one in the geographical location in Syria and Iraq, uh, which of course, uh, and then of course we have the terror groups and the cells themselves. And I think uh, the, 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 the Turkish uh, military uh, in Operation uh, uh, Euphrates Shield in August has in, in effect uh, been detrimental to Daesh in a number of ways. One is that it's very difficult now for foreign fighters, certainly from Europe, to join them. But they will try and get uh, fighters, certainly those who are European, who are trying to get back out. And some will get out, want to get, get out to try and carry out some attacks, I reckon, in Europe. And it's been anticipated this for some time uh, with security services and counterterrorism forces throughout Europe. Does losing territory make the ideology less attractive to some people, do you think? Uh, possibly. I mean, it's interesting to see how many groups suddenly started to uh, pledge allegiance to, to Daesh from uh, 2013, when, it's, when it was having its uh, successes and perhaps up to the height of uh, 2015, uh, and not so much for Al-Qaeda, which is quite interesting. I mean, Al-Qaeda sort of went, if you, if you like, into franchises, Al-Qaeda Maghreb around North Africa, Al-Qaeda and Arabia Peninsula. But everyone seemed to... Uh, look at this group and, and follow them. But that said, the ideology itself, this, this extreme uh, Islamist, uh, Salafist ideology, is very, very powerful uh, in, in converting those who are disaffected, not just in the region uh, of Syria and Iraq, but around the world. And, and we're, we're seeing this. We've seen this where individuals are influenced by this ideology and carry out attacks in the name. Uh, we saw it in Nice in France, we've seen it in Würzburg, even Minnesota in the States recently. Okay, David, thank you very much for your time.